The second part of Salix automation is keyword automation rules. These rules serve to set up automated keyword harvesting. But what is keyword harvesting? In this video, we will look at the keyword harvesting process, how it works, and why it is crucial to be competitive on Amazon. Let's now look into a case scenario. I come from a big basketball school, so let's pretend to be a basketball manufacturer. Let's start with the prototype of an ideal campaign structure. Remember, we're selling one ASIN of a men's basketball. So I'm gonna create two campaigns, an auto campaign and a manual campaign. The manual campaign will contain three different ad groups, a manual broad, a manual exact, and a manual product targeting ad group. Now, the entire idea behind developing a keyword harvesting process is to build an automated and self-sustaining system that updates keywords for you. So the most important part of this process is the beginning, is the auto campaign. The auto campaign will bring in new search terms that then Sellix can test to decide whether it's going, they're going to be promoted to your manual campaigns or are going to be negated, deleted, so they don't create more ad waste. Now, let's look into our example. We're selling a men's basketball and our auto campaign will bring in two search terms right away, basketball and basketball net. Now, basketball net will start getting a couple of clicks at the beginning. However, the term does not really make sense with what we're selling. If a customer on Amazon is searching for a basketball net, they're not gonna buy a basketball. So basketball net is gonna collect a few clicks, but right off the bat, it's not gonna collect any orders. Salix will recognize this and realize that basketball net is creating ad waste. Ad waste is clicks, which you pay for since this is PPC, but no sales. So basketball net is gonna be moved to negative so that you don't waste your budget. In the meantime, the search term basketball right off the bat it gets a few clicks and orders because it's very relevant to the product that we're selling. So as soon as it does convert, sellers will promote the search term to the next step of the harvesting process, the manual broad campaign. A manual broad campaign is a hybrid campaign because it has an automated part to it. The term basketball will actually disappear and manual broad, the manual broad ad group will test broad variations of that search term. For example, basketball for kids, basketball NBA, basketball WNBA, and basketball indoors. Now, two of these search terms right off the bat will collect clicks and orders. Let's start with basketball NBA. Basketball NBA is very relevant to what we're selling, therefore it's gonna get clicks and sales. Therefore, it's gonna be promoted to your manual exact campaign. Your manual exact campaign is only con gonna contain the, your top performing search terms. Basketball indoors is also gonna convert because uh, maybe a little bit slower because the search term has less traffic, but as soon as it does convert, sellers will recognize it and promote it to manual exact. We're left with basketball for kids and basketball WNBA. Now, these search terms are probably not going to convert because of a size discrepancy. Somebody searching for a basketball for kids and a basketball for WNBA are looking for basketballs of, of a smaller size. Therefore, our product will not match with what they're looking for and clicks are not going to convert into orders. So after a while, Silex will recognize this and set this to negative. Now, let's go back to our auto campaign for a second. Remember, auto campaigns are great because they bring in new search terms for you, but they don't bring in only search terms. They also bring in ASIN numbers for product targeting. So let's forget about our negative keywords and let's go back to the auto campaign. The auto campaign brings in ASIN numbers and keywords, search terms. Salix Automation is smart in the sense that it will recognize what is an ASIN number and what is a search term and send it to the most appropriate campaign. So an ASIN number, if it converts, will be sent to your manual product targeting campaign. 
while the search term will be sent to manual broad, where it belongs as manual broad will be doing keyword targeting. Ultimately, at the end of this process, we have created a self-serving automated process to keep updating your keyword list, make sure that you're always targeting the right search terms and agents, optimizing your campaigns, and hopefully growing your revenue and reducing your ad waste. In the next video, we will look at how to map this structure and this automation into the Celix platform.